this saw handle had a missing bolt. Now I found a replacement, but the replacement is just a little bit big. So I'm going to make an adjustment to the size. I don't want to have that bolt head sitting proud of the surface, so I'm going to cut out the ring just where I marked it with that pencil by going around the outside edge of the bolt head. To do that, I'm going to use this carving gouge. Because of the way the radius is cut on the gouge, I'm going to use it like this. I'm going to set it just shy of the line and push down. Just shy of the line and push down. I can always go back and hit it again. It's a little tougher to put wood back in. Shy of the line, push down. I drop the bolt in, and if it fits, we're all done. If not, we'll go a little bit more. That's going to draw right down in there where I want it. Now that I've got the rough work done, I'll sand down the finish a little bit, get rid of some of the paint, and the gouge marks. But I think the age of the tool shows just how good a tool it is. And I'm not going to take away all the things that show that it's an old tool. I'm not going to try and make a new tool out of it. I'm just restoring it back to useful condition. When I'm sanding on it, I want to go in the direction of the grain. I don't leave gouges and scratches in the surface then. Don't need to take it all off, just the part that's going to flake off anyways. Seems like every tool I get has got at least one spot of white or green paint on it. This one has more than its share. Most of these handles are made out of apple or some kind of fruit wood. Makes a nice close grain wood. I 
I don't know if it's because the tree's pruned back that causes slow growth, or if it's just the nature of the tree. It makes a nice solid handle. Some of the new one, newer saws are made out of what's called hardwood. Take your time. It's your saw. It's going to be as good as you make it. The time you spend now is much shorter than the time you're going to spend wondering why you didn't finish it right. Still got the wear marks on it, still shows that it's got some age on it, but now it's going to be clean, smooth when your hand touches it, and it'll feel good when you're using it. Before I refinish this, I'm going to wipe it down with some mineral spirits. Takes the dust off. Make sure I've got all the loose stuff off of it so I don't end up with little pops and rough spots in the surface from the dust. Just the mineral spirits alone brings out the shine of the wood. Cleans it up, leaves what some people like to have on there, which is called the patina, the age marks. Patina, in some people's language, is a good thing. I don't mind having it on there. I don't think it's worth the trouble to take it all off. But I'm remembering that it's the sweat and dirt from a hundred years of some guy having his hand on there while he's working. Not a bad thing. Not necessarily something I want to hang on to. This saw is not a classic antique. It's a very nice saw when I'm done with it. This is. Howard Restore finish that I get at the Borg. The way it works, you rub it into the surface, it loosens up the old finish, kind of spreads it out. doesn't remove it, it just brings it back to where it's on the surface, gives a little shine, takes away the rough edges, makes it look good again. Because this is a user tool. Like I say, it doesn't go on the wall of the Smithsonian. about it is it doesn't have a really really strong smell to it. Some of the finishes give me a headache. I've never checked the MSGS sheet on this finish but I don't think it's anything that's going to cause me any great amount of grief. 
I'm not around it that often. And once I get the finish on it, I leave the room. Not bad if I do say so myself. 